So I sat down at this park one day to have a drink. It wasn't an alcoholic beverage. It was like the one I was having right now, a fruit smoothie. And it was a peaceful afternoon. Not much was, not much was going on. One or two birds were, were fighting. I heard one, one bird say to the other, hey, listen, give me back my painting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I couldn't couldn't picture how this conversation would have uh, <laughs> would have started. I got to this point now. I didn't knew birds painting like this, you know. <laughs> anyway, it was a reasonably okay evening. And um the sun was setting. The sun was setting. Um a, a lady came over uh, with her dog and I had no dog with me, you know, but for some reason her dog was coming over all excited and she like the dog was like oh. she started coming over very excited too so in my mind I'm like oh what's all of this excitement about you know I thought they found some money and they was like coming to say hey sir we found your money but they came over this dog was trying to lick on me I was like hey I don't like dogs like this ma'am um but a funny thing happened a funny thing happened this dog spoke to me, you know. Now, animals spoke to me, speak to me all the time. I hear them, you know, I see what they're up to, you know. Uh, they're a bunch of assholes like everybody else. But when I say spoke to me, I mean, what this dog said to me had meaning, you know. He said, yo, you remember that frog from the back of your house last week, Thursday? I almost shit my pants, you know, because I, I live by myself you know, far away from the city. And nobody see or know what I'd be up to, you know. So, yeah, I was like, I didn't say nothing. I was shocked. He said, remember that frog? Remember that frog? And then he took a shit right there and left. It's like, gross. But I did remember that frog. I did remember that frog. How did he know about that frog? I was disturbed. I was disturbed. I couldn't even drink my smoothie with all that shit nearby. I stayed there for another half hour next to the shit, though. I was comfortable, you know. I decided just to breathe through my mouth. I was smoking, too, you know. I couldn't smell it for the most part. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, after all of this nonsense, I decided I'm going to go home, you know, and, uh, and eat, you know. <clears throat> I had some new cheese I got, uh, some old bread, some butter that I was looking forward to. Um, I was working on a film. So I got in and where my studio is located, uh, it's a real peaceful scene. You can see uh, the horizon and so on. So I go back there and if it's real quiet and I have nothing playing, you can hear the, you know, the crickets and, and the, the wind on the trees and so on. You know? And um, you know, there's a bunch of noises coming from nature, but because of where I grew up, I know that these frogs make maiden calls. One of the maiden calls that these frogs make, uh, I think it's two calls. One of the frogs go boom, and the other frog goes na na, and it sounds like boom na na, boom na na, boom na na. Now, before you know this detail, you would think it's one creature making those noises, but it's two, male and female, just singing along for creeps because they sing late at night. Now, who's up to listen? You know, just a bunch of creepy folks and editors. So I'm up there editing and I start hearing the frogs do the call. Boom na na, boom na na, boom na na. And I remember that shitty dog uh, that told me, remember the frog? I was like, no, I was bothered. The frogs weren't making any uh, uh, unusual noises, but I, I, was, I was disturbed by what this dog said to me. So I go downstairs and I was like, all right, I'm gonna go take a smoke outside and you know, I'm going to ease my mind. There's nothing going on with these frogs out here. Okay. So I, um, I smoke, you know, uh, these uh, self-roll um, cannabis um, joints, you know, given to me by a gentleman from 1942. I think his name was Herbert Flipper. Herbert Flipper. 
I think that's what his name was. Anyway, so on stressful days and evenings, or just for any reason, I'd be smoking this. So I light one up, okay? I looked down uh, under some branches, and there was a, a little glue coming from a little shrubbery. So I got like uh, um, these, these light lantern flies or whatever they call. I go down there to investigate. Now, as I, I get closer to the light, I'm hearing the, the noise of the frog maiden getting louder and louder. So I'm getting up to the, to the shrubbery and the light and I'm starting hearing a little bit of a shuffle, a little bit of a, of a, a little movement and it was rhythmic. It was rhythmic, you know. So with the pung na na, there's a little shuffle, a little drag. So I, I uh, you know, I dropped my, my spliff. I didn't even know. I started walking down there. I'm hearing this noise. I'm, I'm spellbound, you know. Pung na na, pung na na. So I got to see what's in there. I get down on my belly. Now I'm crawling. I'm, I got to be, what's, what's going on on the inside of this situation? I'm crawling. I'm getting up there. I start to see a little bit of shaking in some branches and some leaves. I'm like, oh, God damn. What's going on in here? You know? So I'm crawling and I look and it looks like a leg, a foot, a leg, a foot, uh, uh, a frog leg. I'm like, so now I jump into the scene. You know, like, boom, enough. I could see what's going on here, and I jump. And what I saw that stopped happening, I did, I did shit myself. I did, I did. I, I, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it happened. It happened. There was a frog, not just any frog. Nobody's going to believe me, man. That's why I had to write this down in my diary. Uh, I, told, I told these people, don't, don't read this to anybody until I'm gone. Because I shit myself. Don't tell anybody. But I saw this glowing frog. And uh, what this frog was doing to a squirrel. Um, I can't say this on the internet. Uh, not today. You know, not on the dark, not on the bright web. Only on the dark web. But it was not good. Christians don't like it. Okay. Um, what happened after was I blacked out. I don't know if I fainted. I don't know if something magical happened, but I blacked out and I had a dream. It was the craziest dream ever. Deep, deep under the earth, there are these tiny caverns. And about two million years ago, there were a race of frogs. These frogs had a political squabble. One group of frogs wanted to marry outside of their race. And another group of frogs were like, you gotta marry inside the frog race. You can't be chasing birds. So this young prince frog decided, nah, fuck it. I like squirrels, okay? And he started this whole revolution. Freedom of speech, freedom of choice, FGBTQ. That's frog GBTQ back in those days. And all of them got slaughtered. They weren't as tolerant as we were. Uh, in our 70s and 80s. They all got slaughtered. But what the kings of those times didn't know, the frog king, was that before these guys started their revolution, they made a pact with a witch that if any frog in this revolution were to die, their ghosts will hunt a variety of obscure creatures till the end of time. 